Hey everybody, <clears throat> how we doing? Um, getting ready to go check some traps here. Um, I have somebody with me today. That feller. Um, Morning. My dad, he's gonna be here trapping with me for a little while. Um, good to have him out in the line with me. Uh, he's the one that taught me how to trap. So, uh, yeah, it's always a good time when have him along. So, uh, yeah, like I said, we're going to go check some sets, and uh, Lord willing, we'll uh, have some coyotes and try and get some, get some more uh, sets out. Uh, it rained pretty good this morning. Uh, it was pretty clear last night, and then it got cloudy and rained. So I don't know, uh, hopefully, we're hoping to get a couple sets, more sets out today, and then uh, just keep getting more and more out, but uh, we'll just see, see how it goes, so, well, I guess we're going to pray, so those of you who don't like prayer and that, uh, jump ahead about a minute and we'll be into, into um, the trapping again, so, alright, here we go, dear Lord, thank you for another day that we're able to get out and do this thank you for allowing dad to be here and go along and for all you do just uh, give us strength and wisdom and bless those out there watching this video and give them strength help them and their families uh, help us catch more coyotes and uh, yeah just thank you for your many many blessings in Jesus name amen all right guys let's go get some coyotes huh all right later hey everybody um how you doing I'm getting ready to go check some traps um hopefully get a few more out kind of overcast today uh looks like there's a few flurries floating around uh, i need to check the weather i haven't checked it for a couple days so i'm not sure if there's anything any fronts running through or not but uh, yeah so we're gonna we're gonna pray and then we're gonna um, head on down the line so uh, here we go dear Lord thank you for another day and get out and go trapping just be with us all today keep us safe bless those that are watching this and keep them safe as well um, let's be with us and guide us Thank you for all you do. I ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys. Uh, go get some coyotes, hopefully. All right. Later. Alright guys, well, finally caught another coyote, um, caught this one in a snare, uh, it's been a little while, I don't know what was going on there, but, uh, thank God for the, for this guy, um, had a, he was in a trail set, the trail went right through there, I saw where they had come through there before, and right there he is. So, hung that snare off of there. It's kind of open, but, uh, yeah, we nailed him. So, all right. Well, I'm going to get this guy out of here and get things redone and, and uh, yeah, head on down the line. So, all right, well, we'll catch you later. All right, so um, me and my dad were out trapping and uh, come up to our my one set here, um, and it was a bobcat cubby, and I had 
in right in this area right in here I had a snare in behind my bobcat cubby um but we came up to this and we saw all this stuff all tore up and these branches and stuff laying out um out from the set the trap itself wasn't disturbed nothing disturbed the trap but we walked behind to check the snare and all this was all tore up like this um, as you can see right here some of those pieces are pretty big and I was like man what in the world what what's going on at first I thought you know maybe I caught a wolf um, in it in the snare um, but I didn't see no tracks there or nothing I had snowed pretty good right then um, that beginning of that day and the night before so wasn't much for tracks but um, I was kind of trying to figure out what was going on and uh, so we were we were there looking around and stuff and my dad was directly down here is where all that uh, was tore up it was right here and I was over in this area right in here and we were looking around for tracks and whatever and my dad looks up in this tree straight above us and he said oh my and he jumped kind of got back and then I looked up and I jumped back and grabbed my gun there looking up here there was a mountain lion looking down at us and uh it took us a second uh but she was dead so she was actually uh tore all that stuff up and then she was up here hanging here um looking down at us like so this picture right here you can kind of see somewhat how um where she was at and how high up she was she was up in here had the snare plus an extension um on my snare so she had the length you can see my dad's arm there holding that limb back um my dad's six or uh, yeah six uh five ten and uh so you can see how much higher up you know she was up in there unfortunately we were too um excited and whatever um i did not get any pictures of her hanging up in the tree it was stupid of me but i you know totally forgot and uh and ended up not getting any pictures but um, yeah, she was hanging from right up in here. There was claw marks way up on this top part up here. So it was pretty, pretty insane. That was the last thing that, um, expected to get, you know, something like that. Uh, so here's the cat, big female, huge female. Um, yeah, she was, man, she was, she was quite something, <laughs> Uh, I don't know. We're still not 100% sure how this happened. Um, because the snare, I run about 11 inch loop, 11, 12 inch loop on my, um, coyote snares. And somehow the snare ended up back here on her back end, right before her hips. And we are not sure how that happened. Um, it, I mean, we pondered and pondered and pondered it. And we couldn't figure out what in the world, how that happened. How she got the whole, her whole front half and head through that snare. Um, even the, the fish and game guy was like, man, I don't know how that happened. And uh, unfortunately... Here in um, Idaho, uh, we cannot trap or snare mountain lions, so I had to turn it into the fishing game. Um, it was kind of hard, 
because that was the first cat I ever got, and I always kind of wanted to get one. Um, but I had to, I had to do the right thing, turn it in. Um, so it's also with your dad and on his birthday. <laughs> yeah, it was that was kind of cool. Um, it was my dad's birthday, so it was that was pretty cool. Um, it'd be something we remember for a long time. So there you can see the the teeth on on that thing, and it's insane. And the claws, I mean, one of them things get a hold of you, <laughs> tear you to pieces. I uh, didn't do it either. I you can see that that tra or that paw there. That's I got pretty decent sized hands and um yeah it was a big big paw and me and my dad got back to the house there and uh, getting some pictures it was it was awesome having him along I was so glad he was along um with me it was it was fun having him. You can see how long she she was. You know, there's both of us side by side. Pretty cat, good looking cat. I just wish I coulda coulda kept her, but uh, unfortunately, um, couldn't couldn't do that. There again, you can see uh, where that snare was around her her hips there it just it's weird i i have no idea how you know how that happened and it, anybody have any ideas that's watching this uh <laughs> let me know i mean how that cat got through that size loop all the way back through there and it didn't close on her and i run my i run my snare locks at about one and one o'clock and 11 o'clock just depending on where how they're set up um so it's not like they were set way back that they couldn't slide easy um so i don't know i don't know but uh but that was uh that was a pretty cool experience and it was uh fun having my dad along and had a good time and uh Unfortunately, we didn't get, uh, you know, we caught that one uh, coyote while he was here, and um, this cat, but the cat was uh, pretty cool, so. Alright guys, well, I guess this will be the end, so uh, you guys take care, God bless, and we'll uh, catch you in the next video. Have a good one.